Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on solution of non-linear partial differential equations type 2 which is nothing but Claret's form. Okay. Okay. We need to identify it is an indirect question. A solved type solve type questions are known as indirect question they didn't mention any type there we need to identify which form it belongs to for that we know it it has p x q y and this equation it is in the form of claret's equation claret's equation uh, okay first we need to the strip on us given z is equal to px plus qy plus p square plus pq plus q square we need to take this as equation number one the given question is in the form of given equation is in the form form of z is equal to px plus qy plus function of p comma q see the given question is in the form of claret's equation okay if it is a claret's equation we we need to find a uh, complete solution and as well as the singular solution it is a procedure then we uh, then the singular uh, for by forming the singular solution we obtain the answer okay step one what is step one we need to find complete solution to find complete solution it is very simple we need to simply replace p and q by a and b p is equal to a and q is equal to b in equation number one this equation could be replaced by a and b uh, then the complete solution is formed. Therefore, z is equal to ax plus by plus a square plus ab plus p square. This is equation number 2, which is complete solution, which is known as complete solution. This is complete solution. Okay. The next step would be we need to find singular solution. What uh, how to find singular solution? Before that, what is singular solution? A singular solution is nothing but an equation that is the solution without any constants, as known as singular solution. So we need to eliminate these constants a, b these constants in this equation to form a singular solution how it could be eliminated that is the following step okay a first step would be partial differentiate equation number two with respect to a because we need to eliminate a and b right so with respect to a we need to we need to partial differentiate it okay by partial differentiating z with respect to a, we get here is a and constant. According to partial differentiation, a constant, a partial differentiate form is considered as variable and other terms in there will be considered as constant. So, a becomes 1 and the constant becomes x plus by, there is no term a, so others are considered as constant. By differentiating the constant, we get 0 but plus a square it will be written as 2a plus a b a becomes 1 and b is a constant and b square here there is no term b if we differentiate constant it becomes 0 obviously here also there is a constant so 0 is equal to x plus 2a plus b equation number 3 we obtained equation number 3 the next part is partial differentiating the second equation with respect to b because a is over. Then the next term to be eliminated is p. 
so we need to partial differentiate it with respect to b if we partial differentiate this here is no term b it would be considered as constant if we partial differentiate constant then it will become 0 plus b y b is a variable so it becomes 1 and y is a constant plus a square there is no term so it is a constant it becomes 0 a b a and b becomes 1 b square is differentiated it is a constant it becomes 0 that's all here this term it will be written as 0 plus y plus a this is equation sorry i have missed something right yeah last term see here is a b square it would be written if it if it is partial differentiated it would be replaced as 2b which is nothing but uh, n square is equal to 2n for partial differentiation okay a plus 2b it can be taken as equation number 4 by solving these two equations we can eliminate a and b solve 3 and 4 3 can be written as x plus 2a plus b is equal to 0 uh, and we need to alter this equation according to this see here is a x here is a a here is a 2a so we can alter this as equation number 4 would be multiplied with 2 then 2y plus here a is multiplied with 2 then it becomes 2a plus 4b is equal to 0 if we solve this equation then we get uh, minus 3b it will be cancelled x minus 2y the equation would be like this from this we need to form a b value so minus 3 would be here the other terms could be taken to lhs uh, rhs side minus x plus 2y if a b is remains here this minus 3 will be go the, uh, postponded to this side. Here it is in multiplication. If it is go, moves to RHS side, it becomes divided. Then minus x plus 2y by minus 3. A equation can be solved as b is equal to x minus 2y by 3. Nothing but the minus would be um, multiplied with the numerator then minus into minus plus x minus into plus minus 2y this is a value of b it could be substituted in a it could be substituted in either of these two equations to form a we substitute this b value in equation number 3 then what we will get 0 is equal to x plus 2a plus here is this b it can be replaced by x minus 2y by 3 to solve this we place 2a in rhs side the other terms will be moved x minus x uh, before going this see we need to solve this one we place this 2a remains simple we take these two equations we need to solve this 3x plus x minus 2y by 3 plus 2a if we solve this equation it becomes 4x minus 2y by 3 plus 2a we need to replace the equations Mm, then 2a is equal to minus of 4x minus 2y by 3 if we solve if we solve this equation we get a value as minus 2x plus y by 3 we have find out two equations a and b we need to substitute these two equations in this equation then the term a and b will be eliminated right i will show 
see we obtain the value a and b these two values have been obtained from these two equations yeah right we need to substitute these in this equation to eliminate the term see the a value can be uh, changed as y minus 2x Two x by three. Okay, we need to substitute this in the equation two. Substitute in equation number two. So z is equal to a value y minus two x by three into x plus x minus two y by three into y. Plus y minus two x that is a square by three whole square plus a b a b can be written as y minus two x by three into x minus two y by three then b square x minus two y by three whole square that's all. This is the required singular equation. This is singular solution. Hence, it has been completed. Okay, we need to form a singular solution. First, we need to identify which type it belongs to. It is a solution of non-linear partial differential equation. In that two types, uh, it belongs to type two, Clarets equation, uh, since it is in the form of Clarets equation.